History repeats itself. History is always happening over and over again. So one of the ways to stop a theme, one of the ways to stop something from reoccurring is to first of all admit it. It didn't take long for us to quickly realize that there was power behind Mission 22, power behind its brand, power behind its message, and power behind its people that represented it. All right, my friends, day 19 of 22, the 22 day push up challenge. Day 19 means 418 men and women have possibly committed suicide in the last 19 days. I went and looked up my ship, the USS Rushmore. More people who have killed themselves by now than ever served on our ship at one time in just 19 days. 19, 20, 21. One more. Y'all ready for the last one? Yeah, Mission 22 has become uh, a decentralized nationwide effort to show love, to raise money, to be available for other warriors, to be able to be a point of contact, to let the warriors know, but also for warriors to let other warriors know that there is a community, you're not alone, this isn't happening in silence, you're, you're not forgotten. You know, we brought four veterans from all different parts of the United States and brought them together to hike through the state of Oregon. May God bless you on your journey. Thank you for serving our country and for being willing to go on this walk. I'm praying you feel peace and strength with each mile. You know, on this hike, some folks found God, some folks remained sober, some folks lost a significant amount of weight to be able to participate. And not all, so much just a healing walk for us as warriors, but for us to contribute to other people's healing. You know, this, this hike, we raised $12,000 for endobiogeny. And I couldn't be more pleased and more proud, because it was a difficult, we had a lot of struggles. Um, not everything on this hike went pretty, you know, but we put some skin in the game. At the end of the day, we are able to raise money and we'll be able to use that money so guys can get treatment that they need. The War at Home Monument is an example of our, is our, of our social impact, of our awareness, of our permanent fixture to do the work that we can't always do, to always remind us of what we've lost and what we will lose if we don't reconcile it. What we've done is taken 20 different veterans with their family's permission and use them as a silhouette to cut out a 3,000 pound plate of steel. This is a show of the empty space they leave behind and it's also to be a constant reminder of what happens when we don't listen to the stories of the warriors that fought in our name. Because it's not okay. It's not okay that everyone didn't know about veteran suicide. It's not okay that these things were a secret or left unsaid or that it was shameful. It's not okay that it's shameful to suffer alone and suffer in silence because if you ask for help that you're no longer a warrior or that you're weak. Yeah. So I come back and like I thought everybody else changed. So I pushed my family away. And it took a long time to really realize it because I didn't want to look internally. You know, I just I got my class A CDL and hit the road. I was on the road for about eight years trucking. And, uh, this makes me think about how insignificant all of the major things going on are. I mean, what, a million years ago, that blew up. And, uh, you know, over time became this. And... Whether it's hiking mountains or building monuments, it takes a community to heal a warrior. Warriors didn't get damaged and didn't become separated from the sunlight of the spirit on their own. It happened in the name of this nation. We can change the way we think about war, how we think about warriors, how we think about ourselves, and what we think we're gonna do in the American community. We can do it now, we can do it here. And there's gonna be another generation of the warriors coming. We can set the tone to create a culture that grabs them up and loves them and smothers them and resources and opportunity right now. <laughs>